We tee up a big heat of the morning. Round six, heat five. We continue into the round of 96 this morning. Ricardo Christie, championship tour surfer, is also in the draw. Watch for Cooper Chapman, the young talent out of Narrabeen, in Australia. Marcus Correa came out of the blocks with a strong performance in that round of 112 yesterday, Scott. Well, it is the first QS 10,000 of the year and wasting no time getting a quick start in the heat is Ian Gouveia. You see him on screen. Ian Gouveia just looking busy this morning, trying to replicate, I guess, what Jordan Law did yesterday, opening with an 8.5 for the first ride. So he's going to hope for a similar result there. Well, getting quickly back to work again, trying to spin to win here is Gouveia, former championship to a surfer. Roll at the end. And I'll swell a little bit smaller this morning as you see Ricardo Christie getting his campaign underway here. A couple of little backhand darts here as he heads through the inside section. Typical of sort of sand and the rock formation in Belito. A little let go of the tail there for Cooper Chapman on screen as well. So quick starts here. Got here. Who's going to have a dip? It's Cooper Chapman. He will split the peak here. We'll go with the Narrabeen surfer. Cooper accelerates down the line. Little snap there. Gets the work done. Just uh, letting this heat simmer. So you see Ricardo Christie letting go of the tail there. So it's going to be high repetition here in this sort of two to three foot lane. A little paddle battle as well. That, of course, no scale to reference being the first heat of the morning, but they have been sitting there watching the free surfing go down. Well, they can't think too long because the waves are not going to stop here. Here goes Ricardo Christie back to the back end again. A couple of nice jabs again. Three-turn combination. That's going to carry a little bit of weight in the context of this opening heat of the morning. If you're just with us, it is the Belito Pro presented by O'Neill, the first QS 10,000 of the year. Vale looking good, looking hot this morning. Marcus Correa, the opposite end of the spectrum, not uh, keeping too busy. Well, we're following live action. This is not a replay. Another one inside out. Huck from Ian Gouveia will go incomplete. He really had a strong run here this time last year. Someone that needs a strong run in Belito and has actually never done a good result here is this man, Ian Gouveia. Maybe it's the year that it changes for the Brazilian. He's always got his results outside of this particular Belito Pro. First heat of the day. Nice little set approaches here. And Cooper's going to play out that priority. Nice backhand snap for the North Narrabeen surfer. Now second one, unleashing. This one's got a nice little pace to it. Combination, maybe a little bit repetitive, but that's a nice end section there. And Cooper Chapman, the young Australian, will pretty much bring himself straight back into the heat with yeah. that one, Scotty. Yeah, waited a while for that one with priority, but uh, that was a better wave, showing the judges he can mix it up both on his forehand and backhand. You were right. This was actually Cooper Chapman's backhand one. Lovely little hook there. Flows straight to the next one. You can see how he opens up those shoulders, really kicks that tail. He's keeping it in the pocket the whole time, buckets of spray, and finishes with a nice closeout jam. Will probably detract a bit because of the, you know, the combination manoeuvres. There wasn't that variance. So let's check out. This will be our first live action of Marcus. Well, he opened with the five, six, seven. Now only wave two unfolding for the Brazilian. Good flare, and that was a massive pop there. He went completely weightless. So answering straight back to the formula that Ian Gouveia has been using here. Well, we can hear it in your tone there, you know, and we talked about subtleties earlier on. Well, the subtleties in the air, that one there was definitely better than uh, Ian Gouveia's one. And we'll, uh, we'll pick that up on the replay. All manoeuvres there for Cooper Chapman. We'll see the judges throw at this one. But it's this one here, like gigs, lots of speed down the line for Marcus Correa, the Brazilian. And it's the, uh, it almost pauses in the air and holds that one there. Massive control, lands the tail beautifully, landing in the pocket. So real difficulty there. Great projection and height. So Marcus Correa finishing that one up. Looks like Marcus is going to pick this one up. Well, only wave three here for Marcus Correa. Little bank down the white water for an inconsequential score. Remember Correa leading with the 783. May even try and have a look at the previous of Green again, that 783. You know, not a lot of widths in the boards. They're all around, you know, sort of 18 and a quarter. Uh, some people are still on, you know, just on flat 18s for width. I mean, these guys, a lot of these athletes are between 60 and 75 kilograms on the scale. This year, Pantene in Spain now offers a QS 10,000, which starts, I think, on the 1st of September. Having a look at Marcus Correa, heat leader. Nice little snap there with a bit of drift as well. Little punchy bowl on the inside. He'll just keep his momentum forward. He's sitting low in the priority standings out on the peak, so he's kept himself busy here, Scotty. It's going to be an official result as you see it on the top of your screen. Brazilian Marcus Correa, just his second year on the qualifying series, has got the jump on former championship tour surfers and a current championship tour surfer. With that, we'll throw to a quick break and we'll bring you the second heat of the morning here from Belito.